But first, a Coon Rapids High School student is battling a disease so rare even some of her doctors had never heard of it. It's called SUSAC syndrome and it affects each of its patients differently, causing further problems for the doctors trying to treat it. Community Close Up's Bao Vang sits down with 15 year old Abby Rodine and the people behind Team Abby. If there's one thing a teenage girl wants, it's to be normal. What subjects are you taking right now? Math and ceramics. But for 15 year old Abby Rodine, a sassy and gifted athlete, life has been anything but normal since last summer. All of a sudden, you were not feeling so great. Don't want to talk about it? No? Abby has a hard time talking about what she's experienced over the last six months. But her mom, Paula Marcel, a respiratory therapist at the University of Minnesota, remembers that day back in July, and she knew something was terribly wrong. She had some um, symptoms that were familiar to me as a stroke. Dr. Danielle Bruick of the Masonic Children's Hospital at the U of M was one of the first doctors to see Abby in the following week. The biggest thing I remember from what they told me was that her thinking was slow and they just described it. They couldn't say exactly what, what that was or what that meant, but they said, you know, this is not our daughter. Something is off. She's slow and her thinking is slow. But even Dr. Bruick couldn't pinpoint what exactly was wrong. Their next step was eliminating possible illnesses from a long list. We always think of infections, so like a meningitis or encephalitis, which can be from bacteria or viruses. Um, so that had to be ruled out because that would be treated differently. Uh, you think of cancers, like a brain tumor. It wasn't until days later and an eye exam that doctors discovered the key to her diagnosis. It was actually the ophthalmology resident doctor who looked in her eyes and saw, this. right, he the saw strokes. the little, right, evidence of a small stroke yes. in one of the vessels in the eye. This particular resident believed few things would cause these strokes, except the rare autoimmune disease, SUSEC syndrome. I knew nothing about it. I had never heard of it. Other members of Abby's team of doctors hadn't either. We spent hours reading about it. I mean, I was uh, here late a lot of nights. What they found was approximately only 300 people in the world had been reported to have SUSEC syndrome. And Abby is one of the youngest patients afflicted. Treatments include high dosages of steroids and chemotherapy. Her family and friends say the disease took away everything Abby once was, her mobility, self-confidence, and personality. She went from being able to walk to completely not functioning whatsoever, um, complete infantile state. I get a call from the family, from Chris, and just every, every, everything just changed. Wilkins, Abby's longtime fast pitch softball coach, says he doesn't understand why this happened. And this is just a great little kid whose life now is totally changed. And I mean, it's just so unfair to me. <laughs> the disease has taken its toll on the family, too. Her divorced parents are finding a new normal. She was down here until two months ago, so she didn't go up the stairs. She was in bed down here and I slept on the couch and, you know, because she needed help to go to, you know, to use the restroom or whatever. With dozens of trips to the hospital over the last six months, the bills are piling up as well. I have a good job. I have insurance, but 10% adds up quick. Um, parking fees add up quick. Um, there are things and therapies that are not covered. Um, and I don't know how long this is going to last. On January 24th, family and friends hosted a benefit dinner and silent auction in Coon Rapids to raise money for Abby's family. By the end of the night, they collected more than $22,000. I don't know what else to say. Thank you doesn't seem to be enough. Even Abby, who just months ago was unable to articulate her feelings, seemed to be doing better. And I kind of got a glimpse of old Abby. At the whole benefit, I kind of got people who were coming up. She was much more responsive to everything. Um, so that was, that kind of, that just made my heart 
feel so good that maybe maybe there's a chance this can get better. Speed it up. Come on. Her doctors can't explain why she's recovering so well, and no one is celebrating just yet, but they've already started decreasing her medication. She's now met it much better than she was when we met her, and we know that she will continue to need treatment, um, both with medications, but also the therapies that she's been doing. What we don't know is kind of the long term, which which deficits or which things that she lost uh, will be kind of more permanent or she might have to relearn in a different way. For now, her parents are just trying to stay positive. I was trying to look for the silver lining in every situation because it's the only thing that you, gets you through. For Community Close-Up, Bao Vang. For information on how you can help Team Abby, we've got a link on our website at ctnstudios.com.